Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. You can book a private session for yourself with me at the website www.divinelotustarot.com. We are taking a look at you all's soul mate love reading for July 2021 energies. For those of you who are welcoming and opening up your hearts or you know you're in a state of just being receptive to new love coming in for a new love interest meaning it is someone who you have never been with in this lifetime before we get started with the cards we're actually going to go over some messages that i had pr some pre-messages prior to um me pulling the cards so the significant energies that i was picking up on in this reading for this period of time is Sagittarius, Aries, and Cancer. This could signify that you have these placements in your chart or the people who you are dealing with around this period of time could resonate with these um, planetary or zodiac energies that I am stating. I also was picking up um, energy pertaining to powerful transformation. So um, in reference to like Pluto type of energy. Um, I also was picking up energy pertaining to whatever comes through that's going to, you know, cause a, a catalyst for a powerful transformation in your life, um, which is also going to impact your love life. It's going to put you on a path that you're meant to be on that is aligned with your soul's true calling your soul's destiny okay so it's almost going to be a sense of a path correction now i was getting this energy um specifically you know standing out more so for those of you who are in relationships that you don't want to be in any longer and you have been really praying and looking for a means and a way to resolve this okay so i feel like um the universe is going to conspire in your interest to make this come into fruition other energies that i was picking up was energies pertaining to expansion um long distant travel so this could be anything over 500 miles um higher knowledge higher consciousness higher wisdom being open to um new spiritual or religious practices or beliefs um or coming into awareness of this just being open to expansion and even like adventure new adventure and just newness okay so what i was picking up was the energies between yourself and whoever you could be coming into contact with um there's an energy of either you or this individual or the both of you being in relationships still so there could be energies where someone is still married okay for others of you um this could be you or this other individual um or the both of you could be single and you are on your way to each other now i did pick up an energy about some type of party that was being thrown so that did stand out um there's also some 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 type of major um, communication that's going to take place or is needing to take place during this period of time that i was picking up um also for those of you who are married or who have someone coming towards you who is married um it feels like the the individual who is their spouse which i was picking up was wife energy um this wife's energy and their family they could be having some type of um dysfunction or disruption going on the wife's side of the family um I'm, i was picking up there's drama going on and i was picking up that <laughs> that either you or the individual who's coming towards you felt that this wife and the wife's side of the family um that their energy was ghetto okay um <laughs> and i felt and i was getting the energy that either you or whoever this person is that is coming towards you they really either are wanting to distance themselves from this energy with the wife and the wife's family or um they normally do try to keep a sense of great distance between themselves and this individual and their family okay so that was pretty much all of the energies we can go ahead and get into the reading so um starting with the headspace of those of you resonating with the left side i have the energy of the free will card so the free will card is talking about the universe conspiring 
in your best interest to help you bring into fruition whatever you want so whatever designated course of action that you choose to take the universe is going to be 100 percent on board with seeing it through for you helping you making a way for you and just supporting you to help you know make you feel comfortable with whatever you're choosing to do so you know this could be you know those of those of you wanting to travel those of you wanting to you know embark on new love those of you who are feeling like the relationship that you're in no longer suits you because i'm going back to that path correction energy that i picked up in the beginning of the messages with the pre-messages um there was the energy pertaining to some of you wanting to move to a new relationship so if some of you are coming into the awareness that the relationship that you have been in um that it no longer suits you where you currently are in your life and where you see yourself headed so i was picking up this particular group of you you may have been doing a lot of inner work like shadow work and healing and whatnot and now you feel like um you're not at a vibrational match for whoever you're in a connection with others of you you've been in this relationship for a long time and you've always known um deep within your soul in your heart you know you've always felt that this person was not the person for you but i feel like even though you received signs and symbols um messages letting you know previously to remove yourself from this relationship and this connection um i feel like you still you still chose to use your free will to stay in the connection and you know the universe however supported you in that because you did not um feel it was necessary for you to remove yourself at that time you you felt it was something you wanted to continue with doing so I feel like the free will card is essentially here to show you that um, you have the universe backing and supporting with whatever you choose to do, whether you choose to continue in this relationship um, or whether you choose to move forward and allow and be accepting and open to take the initiative to taking the first step or taking the whatever action that you know you need to take so you can um, move towards new love or this new person that you have interest in. Now for your um, for those of you resonating with the side of person B over here on the right side, I have the eight of cups, which is talking about someone who um, is wanting to walk away from people, places, experiences that no longer serve them, that is no longer a match for them. Now, for some of you, this is the energy um, of single energy where this is someone who's been on some type of spiritual path, spiritual journey. Um, and they've been on this quest for some time, for a long time. And I was getting the like metaphor coming through where it's someone who's on a highway driving and they keep seeing an exit sign that says your exit soon is going to be coming up, but it's never giving a specified destination in mileages. So it just kind of keeps saying, keep going, you're, you're headed in the right direction your your exit is coming up but it's it's not definitive so i feel um i'm hearing down trodden uh, um and that's giving me the energy of someone who just feels like someone has been continuing to like go on some type of pilgrimage and they don't know where why how when but it, i feel this is a spiritual path for a lot of you um, in a spiritual quest that has been leading you to the person who you're supposed to be coming into contact with and eventually you will and um you don't have much information you it's honestly just kind of like you're taking a step and then the next path is revealed to you and then you take the next step and then the next path is revealed to you so you don't really have much information or much insight you're just kind of walking um following your path as your intuition is guiding and leading you um, as you're being divinely orchestrated to do because I feel like this is um, part of your path part of your your soul's path your soul's destiny your calling to walk this path um, and become the best version of yourself on your way to who you're meant to come into contact with for others of you um, this is an energy of an individual who is um, in a relationship and they are just sick and annoyed and just drained 
from um, dealing with whoever they have been in a relationship with and it just no longer suits them it no, it no longer fits them um, it has caused a lot for this person to walk away because I definitely feel like there was a lot of good times a lot of good memories but then there's just also some other type of energy and factors here where it's just like this person just had it and they're no longer interested in investing in this it's like they can no longer continue to invest in it because their heart is not truly in it and they know this and they're moving towards their where, where their soul is being urged and calling them to move forward too okay now i was also getting energy here with whoever is resonating with the side of um the right side that person b side there there's like a spiritual calling and I feel like a lot of you have went through a lot of situations where you've had a lot of hardships emotionally dealing with connections and intimacy because it's almost seemed like y y either you're always leaving someone um, and your relationships get interrupted or someone is leaving your life in whatever form or fashion that is, whether it's a breakup, separation or death or something like that, you know, or even just someone just break um moving on you know what i mean like moving away so i just feel like this has occurred ever since you were little you've always kind of felt like you haven't had a deep sense of emotional stability um an emotional security yes yeah, stability and security when it comes to connections because it almost feels like when you get really comfortable with someone it, it seems like you know you either have to leave or this person leaves out of your life you know what I mean and I feel like this has caused a sense of you kind of you know feeling like weary and emotionally like deprived because it feels like you don't really get to formulate deep emotional bonds and connections that you need the type of connection that you need um in the long run and I feel like you really need those deep connections and you really value that and I feel like um you just kind of evolve and you have been being forced to kind of like evolve or experience these type of situations that force you to evolve like very rapidly so that could be why you um kind of outgrow individuals quickly um or why other individuals leave your life because you know they were just meant to come into your life to be there for like a season or to just teach you something or to help you get to that next level that you needed to get to so this is just confirmation for those of you who may resonate with this side that yes you have experienced a lot of emotional hardships where it hasn't provided you that sense of emotional security and depth that you needed um, long term, I would say. But you do have those experiences that you can always revert to and look back on and cherish. But I feel like part of your path has been to kind of um, I'm getting like burned through like really quickly, um, like level up and master and evolve and grow because this is part of your higher calling um, that you um, that you have to master in this lifetime um also because it's just like it could be like some type of karmic um debt as well too that you are all um having to just like essentially pay back so i feel like this group of you over here you know just feel a, a, a sense of just kind of feel deprived when it comes to the love department because it's, it's either you're in relationships where it's just it's just like here we go again with this mess or you're you've been on this journey for some time by yourself and it's just like oh my goodness like when is when is this person going to come into my life or when am I going to meet this person that I'm supposed to meet that I keep getting you know nudged towards and I keep being told that I'm going to be nudged towards but you know you're being told to keep going because you are on the right path and this is a path that is going to lead you to where you're supposed to be but at along the way you're also supposed to you know be learning lessons and um just becoming the best version of you so it would be in your best interest as well too to just really um make sure you focus on cultivating experiences and things that are going to really help you learn how to become a better um nurturer for yourself and help you to really learn how to establish what type of emotional support you need and be able to give that to yourself first and foremost okay 
Now, as far as how person A is looking at this new person coming in, we have the six of pentacles. So what I'm getting is a midi a mediating type of energy. So there could be some type of mediating energy or thing or person that helps the two of you come together. I am picking up an energy of social media. So for some of you, you could meet this person through social media and that could be the mediating force that helps the two of you come together or for the two of you to connect. For others of you, this could be a person who the both of you know or someone who just introduces you to each other. Like it could be someone like, um, like by word of mouth, you know, how the two of you meet so it's either the two of you share a, a, a close friend or a close associate or you you both one of you know someone else's family member or someone is just kind of introduces you by word of mouth or this person to you i was also picking up the energy with this how you're seeing this um other individual for some of you you may be an individual who um likes to splurge and that's your love language so you may see this as someone who they make it very easy for you to splurge on them and you may um you know lavish this person with um gifts and things of that nature and really treat them um very nice um i also just want to advise you to just be mindful that for some of you this individual who you're coming into contact with um, there is significant differences that I have been picking up between the two of you. So cultural, race, um, age, um, spiritual or belief system. So just be mindful that you're not like pre disposed, like in your mind or, or projecting onto this person, how you think this person is going to, or supposed to act because of people who you've dealt with before. Cause I feel like this person is just very different and unique than what you've dealt with before so just be mindful of that and try to be kind of compassionate when you um are doing this so that you don't come off the wrong way to this individual but also at the same time so you don't feel like your ego or your pride is hurt because this person may not respond in the way that you may be used to from other individuals who you may normally do this for okay so that's just a heads up um what else well let's go to the person B side how they're seeing the individual who they're coming towards so for those of you resonating with the right side um, we have the ace of coins here or the ace of pentacles so essentially this is representing an energy of someone who I was picking up um, is open and receptive to a fresh new start when it comes to a committed relationship so this is someone who is going to want to invest for the long run. I feel this person is going to state this opinion that they have um, about being dedicated and committed and their sense of like, you know, wanting to establish a firm foundation and get to know each other um, straight away. OK, I feel they're going to be very intentional and upfront about their their needs, their wants, their desires, their expectations, their principles, their values, their morals you know things of that nature so this is someone who is just seeing um or just letting it be known you know that they want to be taken serious and that they are looking for you know something that is long term and a dedicated relationship i feel like as well for some of you this is an individual where either they're seeing you as someone who they want to put on a pedestal um for some of you yeah or or they could be viewing you as someone who puts them on a pedestal so it could go either way so i, I feel like it's kind of both in some ways because I, I was picking up the energy of someone seeing you as someone who they value they see you as an asset they feel like it's an honor to be with you but at the same time um I, I feel this energy could go both ways so this could either be this person seeing you in this light or this is how they feel that you are coming towards them and making them feel like a goddess or a god you know or a queen or a king so this is someone or it's just an energy that goes back and forth that the two of you are exemplifying to each other so the two of you could be doing this to each other and this person could be realizing this like you both share that same interest of 
wanting to treat each other like royalty okay and not even like financially yes but even just like with a sense of like like the respect that you exude to each other and the just kindness and your generosity and your sincerity and your loyalty and your devotion as well too also what else Mm. okay so moving on to okay so what is blocking the moving two on you? to what is blocking we have the two of you we have the three of cups and the ace of swords so for those of you resonating with side a the left side i feel like there could be a group of individuals who have some type of main goal or main interest in wanting to meddle in you all's relationship so for some of you this could be family members for some of you this could be friends this could be other types of associates i was even picking up these could be individuals on social media and then i was also picking up a group of individuals for some of you who you previously had sexual encounters with previously and that they are mad and bitter scorned and salty because you no longer <laughs> want to be with them um this may be energy of a masculine because i keep hearing dick down <laughs> i keep hearing they're mad because you don't want to dick them down okay anyways so um yeah so i feel like there's a group of meddling marys over here or <laughs> meddling mics or whatever these are that um are upset okay and their their common goal that they have is to come together and try to you know mess up what you all have going on with each other <sighs> oh my goodness um and then for those of you resonating with side person side B, um, we have the Ace of Swords. So I was definitely getting, um, there is three scenarios that this could pertain to. So for some of you, this is a situation where it is um, dealing with the truth that needs to be communicated okay and that that energy of communication came up in the pre messages so there is an energy of someone who needs to come clean about who they really are i feel there was a situation where someone didn't reveal what they did for work um and i feel in one instance this is someone who because they didn't know if they were going to be invested right so it's like well someone doesn't want to divulge and disclose what they do because it's like well I don't know if I'm even going to be interested or if I want to be with this person let me get more information on who I'm dealing with you know what I mean like if I'm even going to take this serious if I'm even going to move forward with this so I feel that's one instance and then another instance someone just didn't want someone to know what they did because of their stature because of their status because of their sick uh, you know the their um position that they hold and I feel like someone didn't want to be solely judged or solely engaged with that just because of who they were like just because of their status because of their popularity because of their rank you know because of their their title that they hold right their position that they hold and whatever they do so I feel that was another reason why someone um it's coming up you know of a truth that someone needs to come out and express this and explain essentially just their side of what they're doing it another situation that i'm seeing for some of you is simply that someone wants to keep the relationship a secret so it's like once the two of you decide that you want to be together someone's going to want to keep it a secret because it's like they're not going to want i feel like an ex to find out or someone who could could still have some type of significant um factor in this situation for whatever reason so i mean whether i mean that could be anyone so whoever this is you know but i feel like someone's wanting to keep it 
secret so that someone else doesn't find out because I feel like whoever this other individual is that they don't want to find out you know this person obviously you know y'all seem to have jealous envious people around you all in regards to who y'all are or because of the connection so I feel like that's that factor there okay so someone you know may want to keep the relationship secret now the 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 other situation is that someone is needing to tell the person that they're with that they don't they don't want to be with them anymore so someone's going to need to tell their spouse or their their partner or whoever they've been with or investing or intimate with for some time whatever this is someone's going to need to you know have a adult conversation and let someone know that they don't want to be in that type of connection situation or relationship or arrangement whatever this is that that they have so that's the other situation that could be blocking those of you on this side for a person um for the side b now as far as the action that the two of you are wanting to take towards each other on the left side for person a we have the death energy and that's a major arcana card and then on the right side for person B we have the full card so instantly what I'm getting is that this is going to be a very significant like type of action that each of you want to take that's going to be like life-changing for the both of you um, it could be like scary um, it could be something very different than what you normally have done um i feel it's going to be some type of like radical change but it's it's almost an energy of both of you are choosing to sacrifice something for the sake of being with each other and it, it, it feels so extreme in nature i also feel like whatever action that the two of you do is really going to like turn heads or it's going to make individuals really just question the two of you's motives like how or why would y'all do something like that because it's because it's something that like maybe normal relationships don't do so I feel there could be some sense of even like maybe like unconventional um action that the two of you take and it's not to say that no one has ever did it I just feel like it's just not something that traditionally people do so whatever this is I feel like I said it's going to be something that the two of you are both having having to but are willingly deciding to sacrifice something for the sake of this relationship for the sake of coming together and it's going to um lead to the outcome with the nine of wands right so with the nine of wands being here i just feel like for some of you um the course of action that you're going to take i feel like you're almost like the two of you are coming together and you're going to be very protective of each other it's like you're joining forces and you're going to like really be possessive and really defensive um towards anyone who's trying to like infringe or be disrespectful or harm y'all connection in any form or fashion i feel like the two of you have very strong like sentiments with each other and i feel this also is going to make people kind of like surprised um because for some of you it's a situation where you two have not known each other you know i guess in this lifetime <laughs> for that long and it's gonna make people like feel offended almost like the fact that the two of y'all like really love each other as much as y'all do or that y'all care for each other as much as y'all do i feel like it's almost a sense of it's going to ruffle people's feathers the fact that the two of you really rock with each other how y'all rock with each other and it may be uncomfortable for other people i mean for whatever personal reasons that you know they're choosing to fin fit to feel offended you know what i mean and these even could just be people who y'all both are no longer dealing with you know um but i also just feel like the two of you focusing on y'all y'all are really going to be very protective like y'all going to be a protective unit when it comes to outside interference or anything like that so i just see the two of you just being real strong with each other um and just really standing by each other's side 
and just not tolerating any disrespect any slander any negativity when it comes to either one of you and I feel this is almost something that the two of you have always desired always wanted and I just feel like even just the nature of the events that have led up to the two of you being together and just the experiences that the both of you have just endured over the course of your life it's just really prepared you um, for this type of connection and I just feel like the two of you are just going to really safeguard this because you really just see each other and hold each other in a positive regard and positive light and you just don't want it to just be you know like tainted by outside people you know what I mean who don't want to see y'all together or who don't have y'all best interest at heart and I was also getting the message as well too that um for whoever are these uh meddling mics or meddling um marys i keep wanting to say meddling mensies okay <laughs> but um whoever these meddling mics or meddling marys on either of y'all side but especially you know the little groups trying to click up or whatever and with the intention to try to you know have negative projection towards y'all or negative um whatever this is they're they're trying to do um to get involved in it i would just advise y'all not to um because i just don't feel like it's gonna work out in y'all best interest so it would be in y'all best interest to save yourself the time the energy the money you know what i'm saying um because it's not going to be worth it in the end um and it's just gonna it's, it's it's gonna just be negative negative like blowback you get what i mean so I would advise anyone who feels inclined to just want to interject or interfere probably just shouldn't shouldn't be something as something that you're making a priority or something that you're you're intending or enacting on because I just I don't foresee it you know panning out very well for you all but anti-ways those are all of the messages that I have um, if you would like to book a personal private session of your own I would love to do a reading with you you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com